Well, hello there, everybody. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with episode number four of Going Medieval. Going Medieval is a, a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. It is a hell of a lot of fun, and we are playing on the Aber Wyvern Seed. Um, this is the fourth episode in the series, so we're headed into winter. And uh, Aber Wyvern is a community loosely based on um, the community of Aber Wyvern from the uh, 1980s uh, children's uh, illustrated architecture book Castle uh, by David McCauley, uh, also the PBS documentary, uh, animated PBS documentary of the same name. You hear a little tapping in the background while I talk. There's uh, some light construction work going on next door to me. Um, sounds like they're uh, they're framing up uh, framing up a barracks. So where did we leave off? It is good timing. It's autumn day six, so we're halfway through fall. Um, we just got some sheep. I remember that. That's a that's a big deal, guys. That's a big deal. I'm super happy to have these sheep's, and um, we'll we'll slaughter some of our goats into the winter so we can afford to feed the sheep's. Um, we're gonna make some. You know, we've actually made a lot of animal feed already. I don't know what I've set on the fire. Um, yeah, we've got we've got enough animal feed. I think. Uh, yeah, we'll just make that until I have uh, 100. This is this is a really strong start now. We're like we're doing super well. This room's gonna be mined out, so we'll have a workshop in there. I'll be able to move the uh, tailoring bench inside. I don't I don't really know how we're doing um, on the research front. Not terribly. Um, I need to get research too. That's my next priority. And then uh, we want to get furniture too, so that I can make armor racks. That will allow me to store the armor. Um, I can create an armory. Allow me to store the armor, and of course, I need to get um, perhaps as a matter of priority, even uh, I need to get stone cutting. Um, stone cutting will allow us to begin building the actual uh, castle, the actual structure. Excuse me. Okay. And we just we just got attacked um, in the the tail end of the last episode there, so I'm I'm not too worried about being attacked at this juncture. Um, we'll probably get another settler before we get attacked. Hoping it's a woodcutter. I think that's what I need. I need a dedicated woodcutter. Um, there really isn't anyone in my community right now who's, um, you know, who it's, it's appropriate to get uh, focused on that. I might actually uh, get a second research bench so we can um, move these indoors and research faster in the winter that would be that would be incredible i of course do also need to start blocking out the um final sort of the final structure for um for like my towers and stuff like the actual boy this is gonna be this is gonna be a big a big structure it's gonna be a big castle when i'm done be really cool, guys. That that much I promise. This is going to be uh, the coolest thing I've built in this game. I'm going to do it on the hardest difficulty. So the mediocre box wine Cab Sauvignon that I'm drinking. Having a good day. It's a Thursday afternoon, but uh, 4 p.m. on a Thursday. Just relaxing after a, a day's work. Day's work doing what, you might ask. Uh, I can't tell you yet. But. So I think I'm going to put one of my towers here. Like this, this layout is almost already done. If this makes sense. So 
it's a pretty it's a pretty big tower to be honest we'll see in the end if it proves to be uh, too big Okay, so we got another mount mountain bandit encounter. Um, it's a woodcutter. Look at that. It's got uh, botany 15. It's in carpentry. It's actually uh, proficient in tailoring, passion, but tailoring. Don't know what his marksman skill is. Probably pretty low. I uh, might get surprised. Uh, and they're going to send some melee fighters after us again, which is fantastic because we're now like an all archery community. So we'll just we'll just wreck them. Um, what's his religion? And Mark's a restitutionist. He fits right in with the rest of us. See, see, this is it's all it's all coming up Babber Wyvern now. Uh, we're sort of we get a runaway a runaway success here. Of course, um, more people, more problems. We're gonna need to feed him. He appears to be uh, injured. Let's see what his injury is and check the perks. Uh, he uh, ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh, he's a cannibal. Okay. Well. I'm sorry, Mark, you're not going to be eating people in my community. Um, it's not very Christian of you. Um, it is it is very frugal of you, I'll, I'll admit. Like, it's a good it's a good use of resources. But um, anyway, let's see. Mark's from the skill of nine. Oh, yeah, so one or two bow shots, uh, good, accurate bow shots. And he is, um, he's going to be able to use the long bow. That's great. Uh, he is like an all-rounder. He's a really good all-rounder. He doesn't have any like high proficiencies. I don't see any. No, no high proficiencies. It's high SP in animal handling. He's a reeve. Um, by the way, I looked it up from last episode. I looked it up. What a burner is. A burner is um, kind of like a drover, but for game animals. Um, so somebody who will um, drive dogs into the, the underbrush um, and use sticks to beat out like pheasants and stuff. Um, a burner is someone who... Um, moves in advance of a hunting party um, and is generally in charge of the uh, hunting animals. Um, so, what's her name? Missa is a uh, reckless burner. Top dog, leader of the pack. Well, I could have just clicked on it to see what they're about. <laughs> okay. Uh, hounds can be ferocious when crossed. Yeah, so it's like a hunting dog person. It's pretty cool, actually. I had no idea that that was a thing. It was pretty obscure, too. It took me... It wasn't readily available in Wikipedia, I'll tell you that. Kept thinking I was trying to spell Bernard. Again, going back to Bernie. Okay. Uh, right. Tick, tick. And tick, tick, tick. Tick. And... Oops, I don't want to do that at all. Okay. You, can sort of, you can start to see the foundation of a tower um, emerging there, and that's going to be one of the two corner towers um, of the of the keep of the main sort of bastion up here, um, I think. It might actually be outer curtain. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to measure all this stuff out. I don't think this is the middle either. I think the, the middle is going to be somewhere over here. Okay, so there aren't enough beds. Um, what's Mark's? He is losing blood. He has a minor chest laceration. So perhaps. Uh, okay. Let's get stone block cutting first, and then I got to do a couple things here before. Uh, let's give him uh, same schedule as the rest of them. So he's not a night owl, and make sure he's just eating meals. Um. And, you know, I'll leave his weapon uh, stats right now. Turn it all up to, oh, turn it all down to, down to five. Um, he can cook. He has a proficiency for cooking, so that's good. Um, maybe that means I can take her off. Do we really want to trust the cannibal cooking? I say as I sip a fine Chianti. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do we want the cannibal cooking? This is... Uh, Big picture question. You know what? Let's put him on the Taylor table for now and cook in number two and her own cooking two, Taylor two. I think I think this will resolve itself. Um, and he can also have an animal husbandry of one because those are small, short tasks. Okay. Um, but because he is injured.
make sure we've got our convalescence. Where's his bed going to go? I'll just, I'll just give him a floor mat for now. Community's starting to get a little, a little busy. Just sleep in the corner there. And I'll make sure he builds his own bed. Shelves are starting to get kind of bare as the seasons wear on. We have lots of linen cloth now, though. I guess they they harvested that hacks that that hacks the flax. They harvested that flax that was out in the uh, out in the field. Okay, he made his bed. And now he can lie in it. I'm just I'm 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 quippy today. I'm feeling feeling good. Maybe it's the two sips of wine I've taken. Okay, the bed is assigned to him. Let's have Catherine end his wounds. Enemies here in one day, fifteen hours. So. Couple melee characters. Animal feed numbers dropped dramatically. Which is weird. It's very weird. Iron bars do I have? 50 iron ingots. Okay, that's fine. Mark doesn't have to convalesce anymore, but whatever. Whatever. Doesn't matter. None of this matters. Just need someone to do the cooking. Okay, Andrew just took the doors down. So we're going to add a couple reinforced doors. We're low on wood, of course, we're low on wood. Wood for that, that's fine. Get someone off cutting. Oh, I'd love to tame these boars. I've I've not managed to tame a boar in going medieval yet, and um that's it's a good 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 source of meat. Um also like keeping some tamworths, right? Like that's it's a very it's a very medieval thing to do. Past winter I uh made a nice smoked smoked uh, ham like gammon pie with a like a whole gammon it was so good it was so good oh. that was just me being creative too no one no one no one ate with me that night i was just ba bacon for one um just being creative because I, I i do like to cook i haven't haven't done much cooking uh yet this uh this spring season uh, but i'm gonna get back into it just finish grocery shopping That's all you need to know about uh, postmodern cowboys uh, current status. Yeah, it's food in his fridge. Okay. okay, weapon racks are done. I want to take warfare stuff off this pile. Do I have any bows at all? No. 
I really wish they did give you, like, uh, chests earlier. I think chests should be, uh, because you can store things in them, like clothes, so they don't rot. Should be a lower tier item, especially, like, the wooden wicker chest. I can, I can see the, like, higher quality chests, but the low, the low tier chests should be, um, an early item. It's just, uh, that's my, my, uh, that's my two, uh, two ducats. My two shillings. Okay. Someone smithing. That's uh, that's good. That means all other tasks uh, ahead of that have been completed. We have a lot of iron too. Okay, and the workshop is done. So let's maximize our productivity um, on that front and start banging out some blocks. Um, I think you can put multiple, like I can put a sewing station in here, um, and it doesn't it doesn't have to be a specific tailoring room. It can just be a workshop room. Um, I need to get some decorations, of course. I just I just can't have any, um, and I'll make sure the room is um, well heated. I think that's a critical part of. Let's down another bookshelf or two. I don't think that interferes with the uh, workshop type. I think the research table do does. I think the research table has to go in a library type room. I think if I put a research table in a workshop, it won't be a workshop anymore. I can floor these rooms too, which I think adds something. You know, I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to floor them in the highest quality. The cellar, after all, can be. Kind of raw. I got the doors done. Yeah, doors done. Oh, that's nothing's getting in here. Why is he still bleeding? He's not actually bleeding. Okay, that's fine. That wound will eventually go away. It's not doing any damage to him. His hit points are full. His blood is full. You see that? He's happy and he's still injured. Andrew's starting the process with the floor. That's fantastic. These don't put out any heat. They're just really... I mean, they did a small amount, but they're just, they're just an aesthetic thing. Make sure I do a little bit of hunting. Sort by type, find all the deer. There's goats, we can just slaughter those. Four goats. There's a fair number of deer, but I, I might want to give them a chance to reproduce. And the boars, they're not that tameable. They're, they are hard to tame. The goats are super easy to tame by comparison. Rabbits can be tamed. There's only one of them. Yeah, 
how are we doing on winter clothes good so we're getting we're getting the winter clothes done just make sure that everybody's wearing uh, winter clothes as the winter approaches I believe they they all are if anyone isn't they'll put that stuff on might as well get Mark in uh, the mail there. Research test. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a little while. Uh, the attack is coming now. Hope everybody's pretty close. I should probably get them all inside, anticipating. It's definitely happened to me before that. Yeah, peasants who are far away can be cut off. Oh, this could be bad. Depending on where they come in, this could be really bad. I might take a casualty here. Refused about the assailant's demands. Okay, they're far away. And what do we have? We've got seven bad guys. None of them have any uh, particularly good equipment. One's got a wolf head hat, which is two of wolf head hats. That's kind of cool. Um, it was off hunting. Yeah, so he's the furthest away. That's fine. He'll get in before the other bad guys, right? Yeah, probably not. Balls. The high stress chase right here. Everybody up into the wall except for Mark, because you don't have a bow. And Hank, you don't have a bow. Oh my, that was close. Glad I started him when I did. It would have been, it would have cut him off right there. But he he got inside. Okay, this <laughs> be an absolute fucking slaughter. The enemies are like, mm, uh, I don't know. Take good Batilda. <laughs> it gets one hit on the door. Oh. Yeah, we're uh we're now an OP community already. That's super funny. Super funny. Injure Bowdry first. Okay, now in, injure Thomas. Injure Bald Wolf. Okay, everybody back as you were. The wolves are eating good tonight, guys. It's kind of, I think, I don't know, there should be more things in the environment for the wolves to eat. They're starving, so as soon as there's a corpse, they're just like, it's dinner time. But no matter how many wolves there are, they won't attack um, my... My uh, my people, right? The villagers themselves are. I want to call them peasants, but they're not. Really, it's their their status is irrelevant to their. Um, and each of them has a different function, but uh, they're not. They're not. They're not all peasants. Um, they don't. They don't really have an assigned status. Their status is what you you know. 
They've got a double bed and a big room at the top of the tower. They're not a peasant. They live in a hovel with the pigs. They're a peasant. Um, right now, no one lives in a hovel with the pigs. Although Mark is sleeping on a sleeping on a billet there, because the barracks is just a little, a little tiny. It's not actually really supposed to be the barracks, but okay. And tomorrow, I assume Andrew's gonna finish clipping through the floor construction and uh, get on these crafting benches just in time for winter to hit, and we can just like um, I might actually make the second. Oh man, wouldn't that be smart? Make a second stonemason's bench and just like mass convert all of that that block. And then late winter we can start we can start laying brick. Something's wrong with this these tower dimensions. Forget it. Forget it. We're not gonna. I'll sort that out once I start building. It's easier when you fill the space. Could also stand to begin moving soil, like out of like fertile soil. I could dig all this stuff up here and move it um, with a dirt stockpile. That would be very smart. Um, to create arable land somewhere um, even and accessible um, within the confines of the uh, curtain wall, wherever I finally choose to put it. the research going here. They lose a community member. Keep an eye on that. Because of the difficulty, if they get if they get unhappy, like they will leave. Like you're saying, fuck this, I quit. Grass is always greener, right? I think uh, I think immediately after this I'm gonna I'm gonna hop into the game either uh, either Rimworld, um because I've got a I got a real hankering to to do that. Um or uh, maybe like Chivalry or uh, Hell Let Loose. I, I don't really do enough uh, streaming of like the competitive team versus team uh, type games. Um, but Chivalry is a lot of fun. Um, it's Chivalry too, I, I should say. Um, or Astronauts. Astronauts. I've been, I'm playing that one. I really want to do an Astronauts stream, but that's like, I'm so bad at it. It's such a hard game um, that, you know, if you, if you want to watch me die of oxygen deprivation or, or colds repeatedly, um, it's just this, this great, like, dystopian... It's kind of like this. It's uh, community management. You definitely you manage a ship crew, um, a salvage ship in deep space. Um, it's a little... It's a lot darker. It's a lot darker than this. It's like super, super dystopian. You, you owe the corporation thousands, tens of thousands of, of, uh, of, of dollars, I guess, of whatever the currency is. Um, I don't even understand like half of the game systems are looking whoa. It's cool though, it is cool. Definitely in future we'll do uh, astronauts videos. Okay. Sounds like somebody just did some flooring. It's very cold in the uh, it's very cold in the bedroom there, um, which is surprising given well, maybe not I mean surprising is the wrong word, but it is um
anyway. I could definitely build the keep up on top there. That might make the most sense in the elevated terrain and then build the outer curtain. Doesn't have to be behind it, but the outer curtain does have to uh, come down the sides. And yeah, this, you, know, you know what? That makes the most sense. I'm actually, so now I can start measuring. Now that I've got a, a layout. Checking in on my research progress. They're, they're doing good. Fermenting would be good, wouldn't it, to get... Kevin better go off the hunt. Nobody's hauling. Well, one is hauling. There's no reason not to have everybody on stewardship one, right? That'll that'll get them re yes, you're refueling the braziers. It's not uh, labor intensive unless everything runs out of fuel at once. Um, resetting traps, um, refueling braziers and torches to keep rooms warm, like that makes a lot of sense to me. And Andrew, so we can stuff it on braziers. Let's see if we make the bedroom warm. Let's just harvest everything. And there's no need to replant, right? Don't sow. Don't sow. Technically, I can delete these fields because we're going to rearrange it all come spring. Again, it's something I need to start doing. Like, that's... Who are my harvesters? I'm just going to screw around here with everybody's assignments for a little while. Okay, now it's super warm in there. It's 22 degrees inside the bedroom. They'll be comfortable throughout the winter. Andrew passed out for some reason that I don't quite understand. Okay. I'm going to have to... 
going to floor this next. Um, I'm actually quite, I'm quite worried about uh, something showing up with a trebuchet. That would, that would wreck my day here pretty quick. Um, one or two hits and everything would be gone and the enemy would be inside. Why is Andrew passing out? It's affecting his consciousness. He's just exhausted. We have enough beds. Is the schedule okay? Yeah, the schedule's fine. I don't I don't fully understand why he would be. Probably just some whatever task he was on was taking him out of the way. Hank and armor decayed. There are replacement suits somewhere on the stockpile there. Yeah, there is. Not very good, but it'll have to do. I'll wait until wait until the sun rises. There's a merchant. Um, Catherine is my. I don't know what I have to trade him. We'll see. See what he has to sell. Okay, so he sells barley. He sells apple seedlings. Yes. Uh, we'll take all his seeds. Um, I might just sell him a goat in exchange for this stuff. That seems to make sense. Some carrot seeds I don't think I had. More flax seeds. Always useful. Uh, herbs. I think we got lots of herbs, to be honest. We have another cat. We got, a, we got another cat. That's cute. No, so he doesn't he doesn't have anything else to sell. Um what do I owe him? Fifty seven. What's a goat worth? Sixty sixty-nine. Nice. Okay. How old is Doggy? One year. And Doggy is a male goat. Get rid of Floki the sheep. Who's Oh no, we're not getting rid of sheep. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh Griff the goat. Young male goat would have just been would have just been dinner anyway. Okay, slight advantage to the merchant there, but we got some seeds, and that's uh, it's actually more important. I get plus one alignment toward the Society of Fellows. I don't I don't know what the Society of Fellows is all about. Either. Time just slowed down again, which is kind of weird. Everybody runs to the <laughs> the merchant. Or uh, runs to the uh, the, the, the uh, restitution shrines. They'll run to the restitution shrines first thing in the morning. It's funny. Okay. I don't know how much wood I have. There seems to be a lot of woods over there. So um, we'll build a wood floor for now. Um, again, this is all extra, extra, super temporary. Uh, ah, interesting. That it can't. Really? Why can't? That seems silly. I guess it is a little too far from. I really don't care about this building at all. I just need somewhere to put my um, my research tables indoor for the win in indoor in indoors for the winter. Let's build a generic limestone building around it. Um, stairs can go up there. That's fine. And I don't know why I'm doing this. This is just building realism stuff. Okay. And we'll put a limestone roof on it. Um, that away. Perfect. Slap on some reinforced doors because we can afford them. And we'll go from there. I think that's uh, that's good. Maybe a couple windows instead of window 
there would be cool. Another window there would be cool. Another couple wooden windows. One at the side here. reason I put a little stone on the outside is just, just in case there's a trebuchet, like I should probably also reinforce this with some stone just so it doesn't get destroyed. I don't, you know, whatever, whatever. Well, just hope that doesn't happen, right? Who's becoming annoyed? Hankin's annoyed. Why is Hankin annoyed? Saw a dead body. Well, then haul it, dear Liza. Oh. Oh, that's where the dead bodies are laying. Ah, the stockpile's full uh, for the corpses. So, yeah, we'll expand that just a little bit so they can kill more people. Um, Hankin's adventures in body disposal right there. Okay, we're going to have to move the research table up in this building. I'll put the other research table in there when I can unlock it. Should be soon. Probably should have built a building here first, to be honest. I don't I don't know if I did this in the right order, but I think I've been I've been pretty on the ball with respect to uh prioritizing things. Could definitely stand to make these stairs stone, um, so they don't get accidentally taken out. Even like a lightning strike could do that and that would be you know, we wouldn't even be able to get up there anymore. I'd have to yeah, that would be bad. A lot of wolves over here. Osgar's also getting up there, 52 years old. Characters do die of old age, I'm pretty sure, so i got to keep an eye on uh, Hank and Osgar. <laughs> In RimWorld, when you get a character who's like 70 years old, they've got all the skills because they, you know, they have had a long, experienced life, but they're like 70 years old and they've got a bad heart. And, you know, a couple weeks after they join you, they just like keel over of a heart attack. And, um, <laughs> who's the utility of that character? That's... Um, it's one of the grimmest but funniest um, components of, of these sort of uh, story generator games.
apparently they're uh, they're adding ladders to this game, like vertical ladders. That's going to be really cool. Um, devs have also uh, foreshadowed that water will be coming. Um, this is really hard. They said this is really hard. I can understand why. Um, you know, if you you got a pool of water here and you dig out one of the the, the voxels, like what happens? What does it does it flow out? Um, I've seen that in a couple of games. Portal Knights has a pretty good water mechanic. I think Wine, My, Minecraft has uh, some manner of water mechanic, but a lot of these building games lack water mechanics, and uh, I can I can totally see um, it being a serious challenge um, in this game. But once they do like moats and like, will the enemy bring like hay bales? Is that is that going to be a thing? Um, and I, I hope we can siege other settlements too. Like we can go to the other settlements eventually with our people and besiege them just like you can in RimWorld. Like long term, I have such high, such such high hopes for this game. Um, in its like final iteration, I'm sure a year or two from now it will be um, like the preeminent um, medieval building uh, community management game. Um, certainly, yeah. But by then we'll all be playing Anvil too, so we'll be doing um, some pretty uh, involved community management. Okay, he's getting the library together. And that is what this room is going to be, or the study or whatever. Okay, let's get that research bench happening. It fits perfectly in that corner. Okay. There's no reason why I shouldn't also put in this room, um, like a social space, like table and chairs and stuff. That would be, I think, appropriate. Give them some place to uh, actually eat their foods. Um, it's definitely not a great hall, but again, this is this is just like a larger shared room. Um, I'm gonna make sure I toss some bookshelves around. Um, I'm going to put the bookshelves on the stone walls because it's less, and you can actually put them in behind the benches too. That's pretty cool. It's less likely they'll be destroyed um, if they're attached to stone walls than if they're attached to the wood wall. And... Place some more weapon racks against that side there. So that looks good. Um, of course, make sure we've got uh, appropriate heating in the corners of the room. Oh, did I just I just placed clay brazier? See, that's silly. That's silly. Like if the map doesn't have clay, and, and this I found out, so you can get clay. You can get clay, but you gotta buy it from the merchant. Um, so if a merchant shows up who's selling clay, then you can get clay. But he usually only sells clay bricks. He almost never sells clay, uh, the basic thing. So it's a little, a little less useful. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, that'll be a nice warm room. I slap some torches uh, outside as well. Who's now annoyed? Who's now annoyed? Hank and Andrew are both annoyed. Why is Andrew annoyed? So, dead body, desperately thirsty, lacking in religious act. Need another shrine. So, yeah, this is going to turn into a, a chapel situation and eventually a cathedral for sure. Where they're unable to. There's so many restitutionists. They're they're lined up to lined up to pray every day. Remember what I said in that first episode. Little communities who pray together. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna do some cosmetic editing here of the building. You know, to make it look. Oops, you, yep, there we go. No reason to leave the windows open. That lets it's, uh, cold in. Okay, it's now fully winter time. A winter day one. We got about uh, twenty minutes left or so on this uh, stream.
Let's... There are lots of wood laying around, but nobody's hauling it. Really, I do need them to haul pretty uh, hardcore. Let's do it this way. Keep the stuff fueled. And then Andrew, I will put on construction one. And Hank, and I'll put on construction one. I don't have to haul the builds. We just we want to get this building done so we have a warm indoor space to do the research. Oscar, um, I'm canceling your. Yeah. There we go. They're starting, they're starting to get it together now, though. It's... Starving. Okay, so she can cook, I guess. That's going to be her priority. Animals still have lots of food. Well, I could put a backgammon table in this room. It'd fit right there nicely. I'd have an indoor entertainment space. I'm sure they'll appreciate. This is going to be the front of the castle. I have decided that. That's... We'll wind up building a gatehouse somewhere on the same axis as this temporary structure. Okay. Uh, I can delete that research bench now so nobody uses it. Okay, all the wood's coming in now. That's fantastic. Who's suffering from cold? They're all suffering from cold. They all have winter clothes. I mean, it is pretty damn cold out. Surprise, the corpse rotted in the winter. I think that's probably an oversight. Or maybe quite intentional. We don't have a massive pileup of bodies. We could be burning them. We could have a pyre. I probably should build a pyre, like, right out here. Okay, is this room completed now? Almost. Another day it will be done.
I don't know how many community members are the max. I think it's definitely over 12. Um, it might, it might, it might be like up to 24 or something. I, I think I've seen a long, long list. And the communities in this can get pretty big and pretty unmanageable. sure that they start using animal feed because it's going to be more efficient than the hay. I'll run real low on hay if I, uh, and I, I need the hay for the spring. research table done now so someone can research on that too damn it okay I'm gonna have to watch their health pretty closely you know Oscar could you just finish that floor for me bro Okay. Interesting. Again, that's a little bit of a problem. I don't know if I fully agree with that, but the reason there's a hole in my floor is quite silly, actually. No, 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 no. I told you to haul that. This is going to be a big problem. Okay, the room is ready. There we go. Room is done. Room temperature is 25. So, now theoretically they should benefit from being indoors and warm. Everyone's suffering from colds. Okay, let's turn the hauling off now. They've hauled all the wood that they need to. Put them back down to stewardship one and uh, start reassigning their personal priorities. So uh, my researchers are Osgar. Um, I actually set his research to three and Catherine's research to three. Um, her cooking is one. Um, my animal husbandry guy, Kevin, is animal husbandry two. Hunt priority one. If there is something to be hunted, he will hunt it. Um, Mark. Could also be doing animal husbandry, but with a priority of one, a uh, tailoring priority of one. This makes sense to me. He also, he's got a smithing app. Dude, Mark is so useful. I don't need smithing right now. Animal husbandry two, tailoring one, tailoring two, animal husbandry one. And... Osgar does need to cut wood, and Missa, the burner, um, could also be hunting. Uh, could be uh, hunting uh, too, and she could be on carpentry. Uh, now, you know what? Let's have her on crafting. Okay, who are my crafters? That's a good question. Missa and I think Hankin can be a crafter. 
So don't need mining done right now. Yep, this makes sense. And we'll put everyone on a whole level of three. I don't know why Kevin would be smithing. Doesn't make sense. Uh, they're all on convalescing too. Just put it like here, they, they're all on convalescing. Because um, it's freezing colds. But at least they got a warm room to convalesce in. And I guess I'll set uh, 10 to 1 for those two uh, community members who tend. Because everyone's going to take a little bit of damage. On these, uh, these cold nights. Yeah. Yeah, it's all starting it's all starting to come together now. A lot of wood, a lot of seeds. We're ready for the upcoming season. We're quite ready. When the thaw hits, I'm gonna have to move some dirt around, but Keep an eye and make sure everybody has winter clothes on all the time. Mark could use a helmet. I don't know if the armor makes them warmer or colder. Why is he losing health still? Wait, 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 wait. It's 16 degrees inside. He shouldn't be losing health. I could probably actually just stand to... That's all of them, right? Four, six, seven. Yeah, all seven of them are in that room. I could probably just stand to give them a combat order. Food reserves are low. Food reserves aren't really low. I guess relative to the rate of consumption, they're low. We certainly don't have any more food. We've only had 10 smoked meat and 6 raw meat. Okay, and we're, we're now researching textbooks, which will allow me to get furniture um, and start to um, really expand... Um, once I get furniture, because then we can put things in in uh, boxes in the uh, the chests. This will be in the, the next video, um, and get some armor racks. And once we have armor racks and we're storing our stuff, I can take their armor off, except when they're in combat. Um, have them switch between combat and non-combat roles. Give them caps or hats, depending on the season. Um, and they'll work at their sort of maximum capacity. And we'll. Uh, I'm I'm gonna call this building the engineering headquarters. That's what I'm gonna call it. This is uh, you know, kind of like a. Like a foreman's trailer on a big construction site. This look cozy though. I'll give it that. Okay, everybody's doing okay. Cold snap's gonna end soonish. We're uh, we're coming up on the end of the video here. Another minute or so. Just gonna make sure I'm set up for the uh, next episode. Um, like I said, I'm probably gonna go play something else right away. I got I got nothing to do um, with the, the evening. Um, I'm gonna cook some dinner a little bit later, but uh, have some fun while I can. Uh, yeah. And they're researching too, so they're both now. They're both researching. Um, we're gonna have yeah. This is this is ideal. This is very, very ideal. The only, the worst thing that could happen right now would be like, uh, Bandit Raid shows up with a trebuchet, and then that would just, you know, they'd, <laughs> they'd break everything. Um, and they do, usually after the first winter on the hardest difficulty, show up with a uh, trep, so. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but this, uh, this question um, uh, will be answered in uh, future, right? 
Uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, this is your host, Mike Cowboy, playing Going Medieval, a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. Um, if you like watching me play games, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, throw me a like, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, and as always, keep it peaceful out there.